Hello, and uh, right now what I want to do is introduce this little dongle that I've made that allows you to choose whether or not you want to receive power from your computer to run your device or if you simply want to deal with the data coming to and fro. Uh, the reason is, um, from time to time, um, I'll work with a project that has an awful lot of uh, uh, infrared sensors, for example, uh, or something that requires a heavy switching load like these relays, and if I power the device off my USB cable entirely, I just don't have enough. Um, this uh, cable here, right now I'm running an extension cable so you'll be able to see it, but this particular computer is um, essentially a laptop uh, in a box. It was uh, the most affordable one they had at Staples the day I decided to buy it. It's nothing special, and it doesn't have a lot of power going to the USB ports. And from time to time, I, I just don't have enough. So what would be nice is to be able to run the entire system directly off of batteries or a wall ward or some high uh, current supply, and yet isolate my computer from that supply in the event that I take a DC motor and accidentally rev the wheels and I, I generate a, a power spike or do something uh, foolish with my battery pack, I don't want to damage my computer. So I want to be able to isolate the computer from the project that I'm working on right here. So this device does exactly that. Uh, you'll notice there are three jumpers. The inner two jumpers are the data supply lines. okay, And this outer one is the one that hooks up to the voltage from the USB and empowers the device. So if I pull that jumper, I isolate the computer's power supply from anything that I'm doing right here. Okay, There's not a fourth jumper because the ground needs to remain common for everything, for anything to work. So if I even want to do data, I have to have a common ground. And I'm doing everything here with an extension cable so we can sort of see what happens. And I've also chosen an illuminated cable so we can see whether or not it's getting power. Currently it's hooked up directly. You can see that the cable is illuminated and the board, um, it's a little bit hard to see, but that LED right there is on and everything is powered up. So if I want to isolate this, and, and this battery pack is not connected. So if I want to isolate this, um, well, first off, let me just insert this in between. And currently, nothing has changed, okay? Um, because I haven't pulled this particular jumper. So if I load a piece of software, oops, let me get this up here. Let's go ahead and make something really quick. I'm going to go to examples, I'll go to basics, I'll go to blank, and um, let me pause it for a second. I'm going to add a couple lines and I'll show you what I did. Okay, so I've taken that basic blank code and I've changed it ever so slightly. I've added a serial launch here. So we have a serial port running at 9600. And um, I'm going to make it say I'm working uh, before it does the flash on or flash off at one second intervals. And if I open up the serial window, you can see that it's typing out I'm working and everything is working fine. If I move this out of the way, you should see the onboard LED flashing. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to probably move this out of the way because we don't need to see this code anymore. Um, let me go ahead and pull this. Let me move this window so you can see what I'm actually doing. Put it up here. I'm going to pull the power jumper. <clears throat> Lo and behold, the processor has went dark, the cable has went dark, everything stopped flashing. Now I'm going to apply this jumper onto this position here, which bypasses the safety switch. Keep in mind, let me go back and put this back. Since this was designed for education, one of the things that I was always worried about is students doing silly things like inadvertently plugging in high voltage power supplies and plugging it into the computer. So as a very brief refresher, you'll notice that 
this is the on position when it's hooked up to battery. So if I plug this battery back in, like so, okay, we can see that the cable's disconnected, the LED is flashing, the program is running, okay? For me to be able to plug the USB in, I have to physically turn the power off because the cable won't fit otherwise. And I plug this in, okay? And now I have power going straight from my computer. It's essentially turned back on. But this power has been disconnected from this side of the board. Everything related to the process, processor has been disconnected. So if I pull this jumper, okay, I have killed the power, but I can turn it back on by moving the jumper over here. And now you can see I'm back running again. And if I reload this code, and I'll pause it while it reloads. Okay, so I've reloaded it and it's working just fine. So currently, all right, currently this thing is running off the batteries. Let's see, watch. If I take and pull this out, everything goes dead. All right, so I now have to run this off the batteries. It is not running off the computer. Plug it back in, and it's running off the batteries. And this <clears throat> essentially isolates the system from your computer and allows you to run heavier loads. Again, this computer that I'm using right now probably does not deliver any more than two or 300 milliamps. And certainly not enough to uh, trigger this relay. But this 7.2 volt pack does, okay? And it's able to handle any of the current up to uh, its deliverable source. Actually, it goes through this 2 amp voltage regulator here um, to be able to do the load that I require. Let me show you one other kind of cool thing about this particular device, which is um, a side note, apart from isolating it while programming with a Teensy. Um, if you actually take, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. The system's going to go dead. Plug this back in. <clears throat> it's now going to be powered by my computer. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just unplug this, because this is unrelated to a Arduino programming, but it's still kind of handy. If you unplug the center too, and this is simply a side note, but it's an interesting one nonetheless, and if you're really irritated by the fact that your computer always turns on, <clears throat> if you plug your Apple device in and it always launches iTunes, you can actually disable the, the data and be able to charge your devices and it won't launch iTunes, okay? It doesn't know it's there. It's simply using the power supply. So it's a little side benefit of having one of these devices. So at any rate, I hope this video was useful and I'll see you again soon.